That is the Vedanta, so-called Vedanta philosophy conclusion. But Bhagavad said, the vimukta manina, their thinking, that they have become liberated, that is their concoction, manina. If somebody thinks that I have become the richest man in the world, although uh, he has nothing to uh, show, uh, to become richest man, there must be some symptoms. Uh, but if a poor man says that I am the richest man in the world, so one should test him uh, yeah, whether he has got the complete riches of the world. Uh, so simply thinking, concocting is one thing and fact is another. Uh, fact is that we are teeny part and parcel of the Absolute Truth, but uh, we are not actually Absolute, we are relative, relative Truth. Uh, on the existence of the Absolute Truth we are existing, but we have no independent existence, neither we have got independent knowledge, we are all dependent. The independent knowledge, Absolute Truth, is the snark. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudeva. That is the beginning of Vedanta Sutta. Therefore, Bhejide Munaya Thadri Bhagavantam Adhokshan. Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, beyond the uh, sense perception. Uh, this uh, impersonal concept of the Absolute Truth is in negation of the uh, material duality. But that is not absolute knowledge. Absolute knowledge is that when we reach Bhagavantam Adhokshari. Sattam Vishuddha. His existence is Vishuddha, not contaminated. Our existence in this material existence. This is not Vishuddha. This is contaminated by the more of material nature. But his existence is Vishuddha. Even Sankaracharya, he says in his commentary on the Bhagavad Gita, Narayana para abhaktyat, bhaktya bhaktyat, there are two material features, manifested and non-manifested. Shankaracharya agrees that Narayana, as soon as he says Narayana, he means the person. Person, the Supreme Person, Narayana, para of Bhaktiya, he is transcendental. His person is not the same person, personality as we have got. They are, see, that is para means that is adhokhajam, beyond our sense perception. Uh, so, uh, and there are so many uh, other evidences. Krishna says that matta parataraṁ nanya, there is no more superior existence than myself. Aham sarvasya prabhava, I am the origin. Janmādvasya jata, this verse, this uh, quote is explained by Krishna himself that I am the origin of everything. Uh, and Arjuna, who understood Krishna, he said, Parabrahma param dhamam pavitram paramam bhavan purusam. He accepted the absolute truth, a purusha, a person. Uh, so the absolute cannot be impersonal. Uh, impersonal is one of the features of the Absolute Truth, but the Absolute Truth in the uh, or, original understanding he is person. As Krishna says, Brahmana Aham Pratistha. The impersonal Brahma 
is situated in him. It is his personal uh, uh, race, effulgence of his bodily race. Just saprabha prabhamatu jagadannakut. He has got his bodily effulgence, just like the sun sign is the effulgence of the sun glow. And the sun glow, within the sun glow, there is sun god, the Vashyam. That is also, we get information from the Bhagavad Gita. The sun, sun planet is not impersonal, not a lump of matter. There is the predominating deity in the sun glow, and his name is also given in the Bhagavad Gita, Vivashyam. Vivashyam manave praho. Praho. He explained Bhagavad Gita, therefore he is a person. Uh, as we get, get this experience that from the sun glow, within the sun glow there is a person, and due to the effulgence of that personal rays of the sun glow, uh, or the population there, uh, every people being glowing, the whole sun planet is so powerful glowing, and the glow is distributed all over the universe. Similarly, uh, there is a glowing effulgence of the Supreme Person. That is called Brahma Jyoti. That Brahma Jyoti is impersonal, but the Brahma Jyoti is resting on the personality of Krishna. So ultimate absolute truth is Krishna, that is the verdict of all Vedic uh, literature, Vedanta, and Krishna says, that Veda is the Sadvai Ahameva Veda. Anyone who has not understood Krishna, uh, uh, he has not studied the Vedic literature very perfectly. Vedanta Vid Vedanta Kripcha Aham, Krishna says. He is the uh, compiler of Vedanta. So who will know Vedanta better than Krishna? The so-called Vedantis, they are very much proud of their knowledge of Vedanta, but the, the real compiler of the Vedanta philosophy is based there, uh, his incarnation of Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Vedanta Krit, Vedanta Vid. He is the compiler of the Vedanta Sutra and he knows what is Vedanta Sutra, uh, not the so-called Mahavadi philosopher. Uh, so we have to learn Vedanta Sutra from Krishna, not from others. Uh, not from others. We are not going to be befooled. Uh, we know what is Vedanta Sutra. Uh, Vedanta Sutra points out that here is the person, supreme person, Krishna, Ishara Parama Krishna. Brahma says, Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vidya. Krishna himself says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. He is the origin because the absolute truth is the origin of everything. The Krishna is the origin of everything. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. He is the origin of uh, even Narayana. He is the origin of Brahma. He is the origin of Lord Shiva. He is the origin of the Brahma effulgence. He is the origin of Paramatma. Ishara sarva bhutana riddese arjuna tishthati. So, but the origin uh, from Paramatma is another expansion uh, of Krishna. That is also explained. Iti chaṁsakala pumsa krishnastu bhagavān saṁ. Without uh, this philosophy, Krishna consciousness, he, we are pointing out the Supreme Person, Krishna to Bhagavan sir. Everyone is searching after God. We are delivering. Krishna is delivering Himself. That is His kindness. That is His mercy. Uh, and Lord Chaitanya is delivering Krishna. Krishna Prima Pudaya. Not only Krishna, He is giving love of Krishna. So, the Krishna consciousness people, they should not be misled by so-called Vedantis or impersonalists or voidists. They should stick to the principle as it is described in the Bhagavad-gītā. 
that we present Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.